Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Get Melevated. Glad you're here, glad I'm still here. So, today I am actually, this is sort of interesting because when I started this look, I had a different card in mind. And as it progressed and I started to like add more things and it got a little crazy, obviously. Your girl got a little wild this time. Guys, I have um, gold freckles on. like. Those little press on tattoo gold freckles. Like, I'm like ready for a festival. Let's go. But <laughs> it's January in Chicago. I'm not going to any festivals anytime soon. <laughs> okay. But like, seriously though, when when I started this application, I was like, no, this is not, this is not the card that I want to do. And I switched it. And I'm so glad I did because the feeling that I have with this on, I think it goes really well. It it feels good. So um, the card that I want to talk about today is, it's the star card. The star card. Okay. What is this card about? This card is, it's so good. So it's a card of abundance. It's a card of dream achievement. You have a lot. You are trusting in your creative pathway. You're trusting in the abundance of the universe. It's a card that really shows when you are able to like easily step into meditation um, and really recognize and realize how unstuck you are. Like this is a freedom card. It's a card that promotes spiritual conquest and it's also a card of giving back as well because you have so much. And when you are in this mindset right here of I'm gonna call it universal security because you really are recognizing you have everything you need. This is a good place to practice that in, okay? Because you are really secure in your faith piece and you are really recognizing the abundance that you're able to have and that you're able to generate and manifest on your own. It's something that you've mastered by now. When you step into this level, level, it's not a level, state, it's a state. When you step into this state, <laughs> It's not like you're playing a video game here. It's not like life is like, oh, we're gonna level up now. It's not, <laughs> it is so not like that. Cause to me, I feel like levels sort of promote a better than or less than attitude. And that is so not the case at all because I may be really strong over here in one thing and really not strong over here, okay? And there might be a person that's my opposite, which honestly, I will probably run into very soon because that's how the universe works. They put people in your life so you can learn different things about yourself, your weaknesses, your strengths, and then you're able to work them out on your own or maybe with the assistance of that person, which actually goes along great with the star card because she is, she's in this, there's this, the shine on there. I've been trying not to get the shine on. It's just my crazy vanity. Okay. So she is playing in this water over here, okay? She's gathering and she's she's putting back, she's pouring with her pitchers. Um, so you know by now that when we see water that is representative of the collective unconscious. And since this is a card that promotes a spiritual conquest, she's fishing in here for the truth. She's fishing for the truth of herself, okay? Which, it's just awareness like I talk about it all the time how important self-awareness is but when you see this this side of her that's pouring it out so there are all these little I guess we're gonna call them picture tributaries <laughs> um, they're going elsewhere okay so these could be going to different beings different people in her life um, different situations it could even be transcending time into a past present or future situation and this one is going back into the collective unconsciousness, her truth. This one's going back into your truth. You are her, you are the star, you are the center of this card. And I think that's really important to recognize and realize because a lesson that I may have learned around a particular event, that lesson can be applicable to something I'm struggling with now that I don't realize it's a puzzle piece for, okay? And having this, flow back into the collective unconscious pool that we're fishing out of for the truth just sort of shows that and it shows that when you're in this meditative state you're not only helping yourself you're helping other people and through helping the other people it's going to come back to you too okay this is sort of um like an infinity flow and infinity relates to the spirit like i say all the time <laughs> 
other cool things about this card so the star you're you are the center okay so you are the center around here are seven other stars which represent the seven chakras i have talked about this in past videos my early videos i can link them below if you want to learn more details about what those do for you to really sort of elevate you to this star level this star why do i keep saying level <laughs> this star state <laughs> the star state other cool things about this card so back here is there's this bird there he is the bird um i forgot what kind of bird he is honestly uh it skips my mind right now but he does live along the nile and this bird in particular he's like the pro sport fisherman of the bird world like he has a cool little hook on the end of his beak and he's just swooping in scooping up them fishies okay he is he is wealthy of fish and the fishing verb over here and the fishing verb over here like we are going to be wealthy in knowledge the more we step into this state this meditative state i thought that it was really correlating to the look i did because this is to me when i close my eyes for meditation when i step into prayer mode when i step into that sort of element it can look different sometimes you know it's music for me like if i play guitar if i'm painting i have so many creative outlets but those spaces for me are really meditative and doing makeup is super meditative okay and i lost my thought Dreamy. It's those things for me are super meditative. And when I involve myself in that state of mind, this is sort of how I picture myself to be in there, okay? Like it's just really <laughs> I know it sounds crazy and weird, but but I picture myself if I were to take a vacation to the astral plane, this is what I would wear. This is how I would look. <laughs> this is how I would want to look, you know? I just, I feel, for me, it just speaks to me in that way, in this like high fantasy sort of way. And I, I think it's important to have visuals when you're doing spiritual work, since we are human beings, humans are such visual people, tangible stuff, we kind of need that sometimes. So for me, I just felt like this was, it just, it just put me there. Because like I said, I was going to do a totally different card and all of a sudden, boom, now it's a star card. Ha ha. So yeah. I guess we can talk about, I don't know, <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's a family that lives upstairs, and they have like three kids, okay, and I'm just hearing them going doo -doo 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 -doo, like back and forth and back and forth, and it doesn't bother me, they're kids, you know, whatever, they're having fun, they're playing, it's really cool, but it does remind me of, <laughs> it reminds me of when I was growing up. So I always wanted a dog really bad, but we only were able to get like gerbils and this adorable bunny. You'll hear about her, I'm sure, in a later video. But my favorite gerbil that I got, his name was Tails, and uh, from like Sonic and Tails. So I would literally take, I would take him everywhere. We were like attached. He was like my guy, okay? So I would wear like this pink hoodie with a number two on it. I think it was from like Aero Pastel. <laughs> And I would just, like put him in the little pouch of my hood and just like walk around and like kangaroo mom him everywhere around the house. I just loved him. He was great. And then at, sometimes at night he would escape from his cage somehow. I don't know how. Um, he would escape and crawl up my canopy because I had like this little fabric canopy around my bed. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this is such a story. So he would crawl up the canopy and start scampering around my head while I'm sleeping. And I would just wake up to like little pitter patter of like footsteps. And and it was just like such a fun thing for me. Cause I was like, oh cool, I get to hang out with my buddy in the middle of the night, this is great. It's like sleepover with a little gerbil. But like every time I hear them running around, that is literally what I think of every time. So <laughs> like they're good kids, but I just, it's just funny, you know, what, what different things like trigger you to have different memories and different experiences and like you know like something that could be quite annoying it's like now it's really really endearing you know just to listen to the kids scamper around i think of my buddy tails you know ah so <laughs> anyway it's just a little perspective shift if there's like little nuisances in your life i don't know why i'm talking about this it just kind of came up so whatever but <laughs> um let's get into the look <laughs> so this is <laughs> 
This is the palette that I used for this. It's new, it's my Morphe uh, 35i. I've been seeing it everywhere. Um, super dreamy, so it's ice fantasy. Do, 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 do. Really, really nice. So, ta-da. I will say that uh, as far as application goes, so this is, seriously, it's gorgeous. Like, so freaking cool, okay? And I don't know if you're able to see, I'll bring it in. Um, like the different, it's so, it's like, it looks creamy on my skin, it looks good, but there is a certain way I've noticed. So it's not just like your typical like go in and blend, but like it's a packer, okay? You gotta pack it on. So like for instance, let me put this down, it's like huge. It is huge, I mean it's a typical size that they do, but it's huge, okay. So, look like this, can you see? Like you see how I can just, I can pack it on and it looks super milky. And since these tones are very pastel and, uh, and not like harsh, like it's, you don't need a lot of, blend, like you don't need a ton of blending. And if I put like a blue right, let's do it. If I put one of those bluer tones next to it, let's try this kind of Robin's egg blue. A little happy tree, put a little happy tree in my hand. Um, okay. I guess it's all I can do with the eyes. Like it just sort of blends right in. Like no big deal. Like it's just no big deal. Um yeah, so like let me just do it. Yeah, you can like see the gradient of it. Um, with minimal effort. So like, although it's not really like, like a swoop and boop boop, it's more of like a packy dacky dacky boop 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 boop. Um, that's how you're gonna get the best result out of this palette, I've found, unless you're going for a totally different look. Um, I think that this palette would actually be really beneficial when you're doing cut creases with, with crazy color eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the, I don't know if you wanna do like a green, but like I think this would be really cool like in the center is a cut crease, which instead of like mixing your concealer with the shadow and doing all that, like you're, Time saver, okay? So, anyway, let us get into this look. <laughs> I'm ready to show you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
right guys, that's all I have today for this look and information. Uh, as always, if you try it, let me know below. And I hope you have a really good week.